All right, 641 here on Breakfast Television. Welcome back. Okay, we're joined by Steph and JP here hey, on the couch. Morning. Good morning, <laughs> What's JP. What's a joke? P. He's already catching jokes. He's catching jokes. I want to laugh too. Yeah. I know. Are we laughing about construction in Toronto? There's stuff yeah. that goes on in my head all the time. It's a, it's just you crazy. need to let us in on the let joke. Let us in on the joke. joke. There is no joke. Okay. It's, it's just, just, it's just, just laughter. It's just bringing you laughter. <laughs> joyous. It's okay. Joyous. It's, it's, it's all right. It's a joyous time. Yes, that's it's it. Early in the morning. morning. <laughs> I love it. And for commuters, it's not going to be not, so no. joyous uh, when it comes to construction. But the thing is that uh, this construction at least will end with a 15-kilometer subway line. We're hoping the Ontario line, <laughs> we're getting a ends. bit of a sneak peek. Yes, when it ends, we're getting a sneak peek <laughs> at some of the stations on the Ontario line. There's some of these official concept images that have mm -hmm. been revealed. So the line's 15.6 kilometers long. It will have 15 stations linking Ontario Science Centre to Exhibition Place. Mm -hmm. It's going to go through the heart of the city. But take a look at the some of these images of the trains mm -hmm. as well as the stations. Uh, the project is supposed to begin next year. What do you guys think? It looks like it looks nice, futuristic. Mm -hmm. I like the uh, I, I do like the stations themselves a little better than, um, you know, sometimes you're at like DuPont Station. Doesn't look like that right now. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I think the, the photo, like the concepts look great, but you know, let's see it in person real time, you know, but like how long is this going to take? Five, five years is the construction. But okay, you... so the construction will take at least five years, but we all know how that goes. It'll be about and in five eight years, years. <laughs> In five years or seven or 12 years, that futuristic concept is not going to be it's future also, anymore. Right? <laughs> it's exactly. going to be outdated by then. Yeah. But it does look cool. It looks very Star trek -y. It does. It does. And it, when it comes to, you know, updating our, our other stations, Let's just get the Ontario line done before we think yes. about, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, updating or upgrading the stations that we already have. Like, at least they're working, they're functional, they get the job done, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. So looking at that, it's like you have a little bit of envy. Can we get that right mm. now and yes. do a little reno of some right. of the stations that really could could use it because I have a couple. DuPont I mean, is one. I don't travel on the few. subway, so yeah. I have no dog in this fight. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but like also like I'm let's not fix what's when not, it comes it's to not broken. So like no. let's just you know focus on getting commuters around. Yes, yes. yes. just have more trains come yes. on time. I think, yes, I think as that opposed to be the... yeah, 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 delayed <laughs> twelve <laughs> hours. <laughs> <Bing>. <laughs> And Accurate unfortunately, depiction. yeah, yeah. I mean, are you sure you haven't, you don't take the subway? It sounds because, like you have. Uh, trauma. Yeah. Subway trauma. Yeah, 